Hey Clear Lake peeps, Ross England here with Clear Lake Guide Service with your fishing report for today, for this week. It's actually uh, 16th of July. So we've been out last week, been out this week. Conditions real quick. Uh, depends on where you are, the algae bloom is really, really bad. You know, in the typical places, like down in the southern part of Redbud, uh, down in that area, down towards the Clear Lake Oaks area, it's particularly bad. Up on the upper end of the lake, it's really not that bad, although if you get one of these 100 degree days, you know, there'll be some algae that builds up over the course of the day out in the middle of the lake. But actually underneath it, it's not bad. I mean, we fished some places yesterday that we could see um, I could see pipes going down in the water, you know, probably down to about five feet. It wasn't like I could see something laying on the bottom, but I could see bottom at that depth, which I thought was pretty darn good. Weeds are all over the place. Um, it's not a normal year as far as I'm concerned. I don't think the weeds are nearly as thick as they normally are for this time of year. It makes it kind of hard to find the right stuff to fish. Uh, lake level is pretty consistent, still low. Water temperature also pretty consistent, hanging around 79, high 78 first thing in the morning up to 79. I've seen 80 a couple times in a couple of places that I've been fishing. Um, activity, it's been, it's been heavy. There's a lot of boats out. Next week is uh, the one bass northern open which was originally scheduled for the middle of April uh, it got pushed back because of all the nonsense um, it's going off this next week if at all possible I would avoid I would tell you it's not going to be a quality trip if you think you're going to sneak up here next week and have a good time it's going to be pretty crazy uh, and then that's followed up I believe with a BBT on Saturday so you're not going to get out of it one way or the other this next week. Fishing's been, in uh, my opinion, tougher than it was. Um, it seems like, at least for what I'm experiencing, when we're getting around, we find a really good piece of structure to sit on and, and we're getting one or two bites. And it seems like you get them pretty quick and then you may as well just pick up and move and go find another spot. Get your one or two fish, pick up and move. We're still catching a few fish on top water, although it's not red hot. Um, we're catching a few fish on top water. This week we've caught top water fish, we've caught underspin fish, chatterbaits, uh, drop shot, shaky head, jig. Our, our best fish during the past week has been uh, a jig fish. Had a guy pitch a jig out catch a 10 pound catfish and then turn around on the next cast exact same spot and caught a six pound plus bass so a little bit of everything I've tried cranking a little bit and just I just haven't found the right combination there's some bites that should be happening that I, I'm just not finding yet which is mainly in the narrows where you got a lot of good current movement just don't seem to be able to get that square bill bite to be able to go for me um, Fish on the upper end of the lake, from what I've seen, have been on the smaller, thinner side because we're just not seeing a whole lot of bait up here. The fish uh, below the narrows have been pretty healthy. I mean, they've, they've been the better weight fish from my experience. So I think you're going to see a really, really crazy week this next week. Hopefully everybody does a good job of taking care of their fish so we don't have a lot of dead fish by the end of it. Um, the tournaments are six hour maximum at this point in time in, in the summer, which is controlled by water temperature and fishing game permits. So um, overall though, it's not, the lake's not fishing to what I would call normal for this time of year. Um, we're usually able to go and sit on some of these spots that have access to deeper water and sit there and, and catch you know at least a handful of fish before we move on to fish the next one and at least for me it's just not working yet so I'm, I'm gonna ding the fishing down from good to kind of so-so 
Uh, your experience may be better. If it is, that's great. Believe me, I know that you just have to make the right stop here and you can have a pretty good day in a hurry. I'm just sharing with you that that's not what we're experiencing right now. So that'll be it for today. I love the comments. Thanks for sending them my way. It gives me something to do. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.